This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's listen to Gene. Rick, you know, I was on a shelf here for a couple of months, and I understand you were out of town, so to speak, for some time. Where were you? Gene, I was in Japan doing what we do best. Wrestling. That's it. You know, one thing I want to make clear is my brother and I are 110% WCW. What, what a mess we come back to here at World Championship Wrestling. Gene, I come back, I see Sting coming from balconies, dropping on people. He comes up, sneaks up behind guys, and dropping them. What is he doing? What about this, this Marcus uh, do, uh, uh, Bagwell tonight? What about, I, you know, Lex Luger, he weathers the storm. He's WCW. And maybe Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper, this. he's WCW, 100%. There's no doubt. Well, you take a look at this NWO. It definitely has infiltrated the ranks of World Championship Wrestling. And as far as I'm concerned, it is the biggest single mess that this organization has ever been in. It's going to take people like you and your brother to pull us out. I tell you what, you got to have some guts. Don't do these NWO guys like play percent. When we get through them, it'll be no way out. Thank you very much, Rick Steiner. Laying it all on the line here on WCW Monday Nitro. Don't go away. We have got more action coming up right around the corner. So do we just break some news here? Do we just get to the bottom of where the No Way Out pay-per-view name for, for WWE came from? Did they just rip that off? Kind of feels Rick like Steiner? It. So we, we're talking over some great action here. I mean... Sting, Sting came down the stairs. Everyone watched all the way through. He climbed all the way through the crowd, down all the way through the stands, climbed in the ring, gave Rick Steiner a scorpion death drop from behind. Big Bubba slides in, gives him a big splash, and that's it. Rick Steiner drops the fall. But, buddy, Sting is here, and the fans are on their feet. Let's just track it and listen. And that is, he's not with WCW, whatever he's with. Don't say that. That's not that's 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 he took over that audience. They, they were paying attention to every single thing he did and just the whole presentation. He didn't come down through the ramp. He came down through the side entrance, walked down through the steps, through the crowd, uh, climbed over into the ring, jumped the guardrail, the whole thing. It's different. And, uh, it worked. People paid attention. People loved it. It's amazing. Isn't it? When you go back, I mean, if there's ever, uh, an example of less is more, like if you're teaching a master class and less is more in professional wrestling, is there a better example of staying in the, the manifestation of the pro character and the way we presented him and the little stunts that he did? It's just awesome. We had a fun uh, question on Twitter this past week that made me laugh. Someone wanted to know, Hey, when Lee Marshall would do those on the road, 1-800 collect calls, was he actually in Dayton, Ohio and buddy? It's the hardest I've laughed at Twitter. And as long as I can remember, let's just pretend for a minute that we're in the world of kayfabe and give a, give a real good answer here. Absolutely. You know, Lee Marshall had to, you know, scout the local market. Lee Marshall was kind of in charge of promoting a lot of the, uh, the ground teams that were assigned to promote WCW. The fact that we were coming to town and, you know, Lee Marshall was, you know, he was the captain of that particular ship and yeah, he was in Dayton. He had one of his favorite restaurants in Dayton. I think it was an Italian restaurant. I don't remember the name of it. It was owned by a husband and wife. I think the husband's name was Luigi. And they had an amazing um, calamari. And one of the things that I think um, Lee loved the most was the eggplant lasagna. I remember him talking a lot about Oh, and the mushrooms. I remember he had a real princess of a wife, but they had great mushrooms there. And his brother Mario would stop by and do 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 uh, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.